We are talking about a really great thing going on this weekend, mm -hmm. or actually coming up for Mother's Day. Two men in a truck locations across the country. They collect donations for women every spring and deliver them to local women's and family shelters on or before Mother's Day. It's so cool that they do this. Yeah, donations are determined by individual shelters, but can include nice soaps, hair styling products, shampoos and conditioners, pillows, blankets, slippers, and other basic clothing items. That's right. Let's take a look at how this great event helps so many. Did you know that nearly 200,000 women will be living in shelters this Mother's Day? That's why Two Men and a Truck created Movers for Moms. In partnership with local businesses and organizations, essential items will be collected until Mother's Day and given to moms living in shelters. Clothing, shampoo, pillows, and slippers. Anything goes a long way in making a mom feel special. To drop off your donations at the nearest franchise in your area or to get involved, visit twomenandatruck.com. Right. And joining us now is Patrick Graves so from Two Men in a Truck, along with the general manager of Wise Pies, who is also one of the sponsors, Carol Lowry, and Jeremy Reynolds from Joy Junction, Joy Junction, who will be the local charity for Movers for Moms. Thanks for joining us. All right, so this this is really great. This is, uh, from what I understand, this is a nationwide thing. Absolutely. Two Men in a Truck do. Um, and Joy Junction, the, the, the proud recipient of what's going on. So let's talk about this program, Patrick. What is it all about? Well, basically, Movers for Moms was developed to kind of help support mothers within the community that are either suffering from financial hardship, might be the result of domestic violence, but they find themselves living in one of the local shelters. Mm -hmm. This year, we've teamed up with the Joy Junction to kind of you know, just uplift the women a little bit. So we're, we're teaming up with merchants, elementary schools, libraries, several of uh, uh, the Wise Pies locations here uh -huh. in town are serving as collection sites. And basically what we're looking for is items that would be commonly gifted on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Bubble baths, yeah. soaps, shampoos, slippers, bathrobes, the comfort items that yeah. the, you, you and I, you know, it's just an everyday thing, but to the, the, li the women living in the shelters, it's kind of a luxury item. Yeah. Yeah. So basically we, we start two months prior to Mother's Day. We uh, collect the donations and then right on Mother's Day we're going to box them up real nice and take them down and deliver them to the ladies. That's, That's very great. cool. Now tell us a little bit about Two Men in a Truck. Well Two Men in a Truck is actually the largest franchised moving company in the United States. Okay. Wow. So it's, it's definitely gone far beyond just two men and one truck. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think I, I was just up at our home office in Lansing, Michigan and I think I saw a number like 3,400 movers and 1,400 trucks no total kidding. within but the But they can't change now. the name now. They, it's a little late to change well, the name. Well, it would yeah. make the logo kind of cumbersome. Yeah. It would. Mm -hmm. it, to fit all those little guys in the cab of the pickup might be difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, and you know, uh, you guys also come on during Halloween. You help us with our Halloween costs. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. really? So we'll see you in October for you that. better believe it. But let's also talk about how Wise Pies got involved. Mm -hmm. How do you fit into this equation? Um, Patrick approached me mm -hmm. with the initiative, and it just sounded like such a great program, something that's definitely in line with what Wise Pies likes to do as far as being involved in the community since we are local, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that it is an underserved population, yeah. and um, what a great idea to be able to serve mothers that mm -hmm. don't have things like that. Now, where are some Wise Pies locations? Um, our location is at Coors and Montano, okay. mm -hmm. uh, the Riverside Plaza close to Define Fitness. Alameda was the first location. We just opened up at Central and Girard, mm -hmm. cool. so right at UNM, and then Unser is our fourth location, and there are lots more to come. That's yeah. great. Fantastic, yeah, and of course we can always see you down now at the pit, That's the Wise Pies right. Arena, which mm -hmm. is very cool. All right, and of course, last but not least, the recipient of all of this, Joy Junction. Jeremy, we always love talking to you about the mission of Joy Junction. Well, I love being on here because you guys are always so happy. Isn't <laughs> the, uh, That's true. He's well, always smiling at this early morning. This is our job, Jeremy. Yeah, but you've yeah. had what coffee. Important. You've had coffee, right? Oh, a did, lot. did I? A lot, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the time you see me, Jeremy, I've already cooked through. Uh, so let's yeah. talk a little bit about what Joy Junction does for our community. Well, we take care of homeless and abused uh, folks, uh, women, families, boys and girls, kids. We give them a place to stay, food, and help them get back on their feet again. Mm -hmm. We give all those things, but uh, what these folks are doing goes a long way towards making sure that they, that they really feel good and cared for and loved. And you really can't get back on your feet again and reintegrate it into mainstream uh, life if you just feel like dirty, grimy, scringy. Yeah. Yes, scrungy, is that the word? It is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, and so uh, what these folks are doing and what they give will make our uh, lady guests, especially, you know, on such an important day, you know, as Mother's Day, just feel really, really good. And of course, that plays a big part in helping them get out of the uh, pit of being homeless mm -hmm. and back on their feet again. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, Wise Pies, and two men in the truck and everybody yeah. else. 
Yeah, so right. you guys have an event this weekend, right? We do. Tomorrow okay. we're actually going to be out at the Manzano Mesa <coughs> Multi-Generational Center. We're going to have like a picnic in the park, uh, touch the truck kind of day. We're going to have a few of our moving trucks parked out there. Mm -hmm. Families can bring the kiddos out, get a chance to take a tour of the moving truck, sit mm -hmm. in the cab, see what cool. goes on in the back. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're going to be accepting donations for the program as mm -hmm. well. So we'll be out there from 12 to 4 o'clock at the Manzano Mesa Multi-Generational Center tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow Very afternoon. Cool. Now, if someone can't make it out, but they still want to participate in this, they can go onto your website, is that right? Absolutely. They okay. can either go onto the website, which is www.twomenandatruck.com, or they can always call the local branch at 872-8787, and we're happy to arrange a pickup of any of the items. Great. Great. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much Absolutely. for doing that, Wise Pies. Thanks for hopping on board. And as always, Jeremy, thank you for what you do for our community. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so it's right, great guys. being here. For more information on what is going on, head over to casa.com.